it's me, Mrs. K. Thanks for watching my channel. Hey, it's Mrs. K. Today I have a special story to read to you, but before I do, we need to learn some vocabulary. For our vocabulary today, I'm going to try to show you some pictures from the story to help you visualize it better. Our first word is the word ermine. Ermine is a kind of weasel. Our second word is the word igloo. Igloo is the Inuit word for house. Now in the Arctic, there's not a lot of wood, so sometimes houses are made completely of snow. Our third word is the word ptarmigan. Ptarmigan is a kind of bird that lives in Alaska, and it's kind of cool because it has feathers on its feet to keep them warm. Next is the word muckluck. Muckluck is a boot that has fur inside. Ooh, that sounds warm, doesn't it? Our last word is the word umiak. Umiak is a boat. You see that boat on the cover of our story. Can you imagine what it would be like if you lived in the snow? Like your house was made of snow and there was snow all around you? What would that be like? Probably pretty cold, huh? Well, today's story is about a family that lives in the snow. They live in northern Alaska, and there's a lot of snow there. Let's get started by reading the title and the author. Mama, Do You Love Me? by Barbara M. Juice. Pictures by Barbara Lavalli. Now, this is a very special story. I love this story because this story is about families. And I don't know about you, but a lot of us have been spending a lot of time with our families lately. We get to see each other every day. Some of us get to see each other all day. So while I read this story, I want you to be thinking of someone very special that's taking care of you. Mama, do you love me? Yes, I do, dear one. How much? Look at this family. They seem very sweet. How are they showing that they care about each other? That's right, by giving each other a big hug. I love you more than the raven loves his treasure, more than the dog loves his tail, more than the whale loves his spout. Mama is doing something very special here. She's comparing how much she loves the little girl to the animals. I want you to think, have you ever seen a dog chase his tail? They love to do that. And she's saying she loves her more than a dog loves chasing its tail. Now that is a lot of love. How long? I'll love you until the umiak flies into the darkness, till the stars turn to fish in the sky, and the puffin howls at the moon. Now on this page, Mama is talking about how long she'll love the little girl. And she is basically saying that her love will never end. Now that's a really long time. I also noticed a vocabulary word on this page. The word umiak is the word for boat. Do you see the boat on this page? Great job! Mama, what if I carried our eggs, our ptarmigan eggs, and I tried to be careful, and I tried to walk slowly, but I fell and the eggs broke. Then I would be sorry, but still, I would love you. Now on this page, I want you to think, have you ever done something like this? Maybe made a mistake and you were worried? On this page, Mama lets her know that even when she makes a mistake, she is still going to love her. That's pretty special. What if I put salmon in your parka, ermine in your mittens, and lemmings in your mukluks? Then I would be angry. I want you to think, did the little girl make a mistake on this page? No, on this page, she's choosing not to be very nice. And how is Mama feeling on this page? Yeah, 
Mama's a little angry that she's not being very nice. What if I threw water at our lamp? Then, dear one, I would be very angry, but still, I would love you. Now, at this page, again, it looks like she's still not being very nice. Can you think of a time that maybe you didn't make a good choice? Sometimes we don't make great choices. And how does Mama feel on this page? Yeah, she feels very angry. But even when she's not being very nice, Mama says, I would still love you. What if I ran away? Then I would be worried. What if I stayed away and sang with the wolves and slept in a cave? Then, dear one, I would be very sad. But still, I would love you. Now, this makes me think of how sad and worried I would be if one of my boys ran away. But, just like the mama, I would still love them and she would still love her. What if I turned into a muskox? Then I would be surprised. What if I turned into a walrus? Then I would be surprised and a little scared. Whoa, what would your family do if you turned into an ox or a walrus? I think they would definitely be scared and surprised. Let's take a second. Can you pretend to be an ox or a walrus right now? Go ahead and do that. Oh, nice job being an ox or a walrus. Do you think your family would be a little scared? Like Mama in the story, if you just turned into an animal? Yeah, I think so too. What if I turned into a polar bear and I was the meanest bear you ever saw and I had sharp, shiny teeth and I chased you into your tent and you cried? Whoa, let's take a second now and pretend to be a polar bear. First, be a nice polar bear. Oh, good job being a nice polar bear. Now let's be mean polar bears and we'll snarl our teeth and get our claws. <sighs> Great job being polar bears. Then I would be very surprised and very scared. But still, inside the bear, you would be you. And I would love you. Even though the little girl would turn into the meanest polar bear. Mama says, inside is you and I would still love you. Isn't that very, very sweet? I will love you forever and for always because you are my dear one. Now that was a very sweet story. She loves her because she's dear to her. Dear is a word that we use when someone is special to us. That means that the little girl in the story is very special to Mama. Whew. That was a busy story time. Now normally at this part of our show, I would talk to you about your vocabulary words and how to use them at home. But these vocabulary words are a little bit tough to use, so instead I have a special job for you to do this week. I want you to think about that special person that you thought of during the story. This week, I want you to show them how special they are to you. And I have four ways you can do that, okay? The first way is you can give them a great big hug. That's the first way. The second way is you can draw them a special picture or write them a very special note. It might be kind of fun to hide it somewhere that they'll see it, but maybe didn't know you gave it to them. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? The third way is to maybe do something before you're asked to do it. So you might say, you know what? I know this person's going to ask me to put my shoes in my closet, but I'm going to do it before they ask me. And the fourth way that you can show someone that is special to you how much you care is by being helpful. Being helpful is a way to just show someone that you understand that they need help and that you are happy to help them. Go ahead and try to be very 
kind and helpful to the person that's special to you this week. I am so excited to share a new book with you today. Now, this book is not a chapter book. This is just a sweet and special story about family. And this book is Love You Forever by Robert Munch. Now, when I was a teacher, I read this story to my students every year. It's got a lot of funny parts, and it's got a lot of sweet parts, and no matter what, when you're done reading it, you'll be thinking about your family. So I hope that you enjoyed the story as much as I did today. It was a very special story about family, and I just love talking about family with you. Now, this next week, make sure you try to do something special for those you care about. It's really important that they know how much we love them. Now, don't worry, I've got plenty of books on my shelf and I can't wait to see you later. Bye-bye.